So I generated some uh, Halloween characters yesterday with ChatGPT, and uh, they turned out pretty good. I uh, ended up having to trace them in light burn to get a better quality, uh, but still pretty sweet. And I thought I should video that. It might help somebody else out. So let's look in light burn. And these are the ones I made. This is the traced one. This is the one that came out of, straight out of, uh, uh, he's not glued together. Let's, let's fix that. All right. This is the one that came straight out of chat GPT. And what made me go back and trace a photo is, you can look in his pelvic region here, and you can see that it's kind of, you know, stepped and not smooth. So I got it to generate a photo and then took it into light burn. And you can see how smooth the lines became after that. So what we're going to do is try to recreate this. Let me get rid of these guys. And we'll try to recreate it, do the same thing. And hopefully it will help somebody out. I know Halloween's not right here, but it, you know how things work. It'll, it'll be here real soon. So let's jump back into chat GPT. And I do have the pay version, but the, uh, and it doesn't cost very much. They're not a sponsor. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Uh, the free version will do this very same thing, but it, uh, it takes a little longer. And there are limits for how many photos you can generate or how many SVGs you can generate. So I'm just going to drop this in, and I'm going to say, please create a single silhouette style skeleton SVG file for laser cutting on a diode laser. And uh, I'm not all that familiar with prompting. I've been using this for about three weeks now. And I found that if you, if you don't know what to ask, you can ask the AI how you should format what you're asking for. And you'll get an answer and you can put it together and then if you don't get exactly what you want you can keep adding to it or or refining it until you do so let's upload this and see what we get i think their servers are uh, a little stacked up today because it's taken a little while longer and we did ask for an svg but it may just give us a photo sometimes it does that it can be fickle, but it can be really useful in your uh, laser business uh, or just for having fun. If you want to put something together for Halloween, I started because I was thinking about making a, a scene to set on the table, uh, maybe do a uh, skeleton and, and some other stuff to go with it. So while this is generating, I'll show you something else that I created yesterday. And that is this uh, sweet, spooky jack-o'-lantern. And also, a creepy doll. She looks pretty creepy. I was watching an old show, one of my favorites, and uh, it's titled The Doll. And it was much creepier than this one, I promise you. Gave me nightmares as a kid, but uh, I think it might have gave me some last night. All right, let's get back to chat GPT. I'm not purposely rambling. I just, uh, okay, so it gave us the skeleton. So uh, let's download. It says it's a vector, but it's not giving me a download for a vector. So let's just download here. Let me give it a thumbs up because it likes getting a pat on the back. And then we'll download it and uh, go open it up and see what we got. Uh, here we go. And it looks like a photo. I don't know why it took so long to upload. So it gave us a photo, even though we asked for a, uh, a vector, but that's okay. You get a real good quality by selecting a photo, right clicking and trace the image. Uh, now, like I said, my, last uh, reference to chat GPT in a video 
when you when you trace it in Lightburn, you can uh, you can make adjustments, uh, and I've got a couple of videos showing how to do that. And but the initial, if you have a really clear photo like we do here, the initial try from Lightburn is pretty good. So I'm just going to click OK. I am going to pull this guy out. And there is our skeleton. And these are not initially grouped. So remember to, uh, to group them. And let's look at that pelvic region. It came out good. So let's go look at the project I was trying to do. Uh, if I can find it here. This guy right here. So I just made a stand for him and put a uh, put a tab on the bottom. He's about six inches tall, something like that. Uh, you could go as far as to take the skeleton and let me grab one of these over here. And you could size him back up and you could cut these pieces out but it's a lot of pieces and you could put those pieces on there but that is a lot of pieces it would take a little while to do it but if you've got that kind of patience uh, you could do it and then glue them on there and have something totally different that would look really good so uh that's about it i've rambled enough now remember if you if you're not familiar at all with uh, ai or even if you are Ask AI how to prompt it to give you back what you're looking for. Uh, and if it doesn't give you exactly what you want, keep refining your prompt until you get there. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. Uh, it does help the channel grow. Uh, please share and comment. That helps as well. And uh, I do this to catalog what, uh, what I'm learning and I've learned quite a bit, so if you have questions, let me know. I don't know everything, but I'm, I'm glad to share what I do know. And if I can't answer your question, I will steer you in the right direction. So, just check back often for new videos. You folks take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.